are at the corner of South Main Street and East Stadium in Ann Arbor, Michigan. And folks, believe me, the air is rife with anticipation. Good afternoon, everybody. I'm Mark Jones in the house along with Tim Branton. Welcome to what should be another exciting season of college football here on ABC. Tim, let's start with the maze in blue. They haven't even played a regular season game yet, but we're talking about injuries. Mark, very few college teams in the country can lose two great offensive players and expect to dominate, much less win, but Michigan has and does. Tyrone Wheatley is out with a separated shoulder, arguably the best player in the country. Walter Smith blew out his knee last week. Well, he's gone for the season. That'll hurt the Wolverines, I think, as much on special teams as it will at wide out. And Gary Bowler in his fifth year as head coach for the University of Michigan. There's a look at the head coach. The record of 36, 9, and 3. He said there were so many unknowns about Coach Henning's crew, he wasn't sure what to do in preparation. Well, the feeling is that his concept will be very much like Coglin's was last year at Boston College. It'll be the pro attack, the pro passing attack. But he likes the one-back scheme, and folks, you're going to see a lot of motion today. You'll see the tight end, an awful lot go in motion. They'll try to move the defense around. David Green is the lone back behind the quarterback. There's your motion. And they're going to throw it on first down. Hartzell looking down field. Got a man. man wide open. It's complete, and he could score. Bryce is in the house on the first play of the game. How do you like that? That's the early success we talked about. Greg Bryce. 74 yards, the young quarterback, one for one, touchdown Boston College. Michigan with third down and long. Three wide receivers in for the blue. Collins deep in his own end zone, there's a flag down and a first down for Michigan at the 17-yard line. Amani Toomer, but that'll that's sort of the play. That'll be negated, this is going to be holding against Michigan, they'll have to bring it back. That they do. They had Collinet wrapped up and actually slammed him at the back line of the end zone. Watch the pressure coming from the top of your screen. And it looks like another sack is about to occur. But all of a sudden, Jenkins, number 77, locks him up under the arm and takes him down on the back line to bring it back. Game. Right now, I got to tell you, Michigan does not look prepared. And to that degree, I think Dan Henning's done a better Holden. job of getting his team ready. On the offense, the penalty is in the end zone. By rule, the penalty is administered through foul and foul. That results in a safety. Oh, look at that. So Boston College is awarded the deuce. First down and 10. Justice Smith now seeing his first action, and he carries the ball. He's brought down after a gain of about three. Brought down by Anderson. Justice Smith, number 42, is the single back. Little counterplay. Stuffed that time by Michigan. It's a good thing it's unseasonably cool here, or else that Michigan defense might be getting a little tired with the time they've spent on the field. Hartzell has a man at the 10. Laro brings it in, and he's brought down at the 11-yard line. It's all right. It'll still set up the field goal. Not enough for the first. Well, in comes the field goal unit, led by David Gordon. He was 7-11 last year. This one coming from 28 yards out, out of the hold of Jeff Ryan. And it is good. How do you do? Well, if you had your doubts about Boston College being competitive, you can forget it now. It's 12-0 in the second quarter. We thought this would be a huge difference. Well, it is in weight. Michigan offensive line has the advantage, but so far, Boston College has been very, very quick. They've shut down every gap. Collins going up top for Toomer. Is it caught? Yes. Yes, it is. Toomer at the 50-yard line picks up 31 yards and a first down on a pass, Tim, that really wasn't that good a ball, was it? It was a great pass. I'll tell you why. He was being hit 
They came with outside pressure. He stepped up and delivered the ball, and that hit took something off the pass, but he threw it to an open area and let Toomer go to it. Now watch Toomer. Here comes the ball to the open area. He goes back for the football and meets it before the safety Wiggins can get there. Michigan is 0 for 3 in third down conversion situations. Four receivers out and they find one. Mercury Hayes with a first down, down to the 33. A 21 yard pickup and a dart that time thrown by Collins. Collins. Complete. And it's a first down Wolverines at the 20 yard line. Reimersma, the tight end, hauled into big pass. You know, if Reimersma had not injured his rotator cuff, he might be backing up Collins at quarterback. Michigan's back in this thing. Six minutes to play here in the first half. They trail 12 to nothing. But first down and 10, here's Davis. Davis still on his feet, turning up the middle, and he has a gain of about seven. Ed Davis, the man filling in for Tyrone Wheatley, Three tight ends in. Davis has a hole. Touchdown, Michigan. And a sigh of relief from over 105,000 people who get some relief from this man, Ed Davis, with a gaping hole and taking it to Painter. And just kept things going. Remy Hamilton's kick is not a particularly deep one, but it's loose. Who's got it? It appeared that Boston College got it, and now they're saying that Michigan got the ball. There's no question, momentum has changed. And now Michigan is in great field position with the ball on the 20-yard line, deep in Boston College territory. The play action, Collins with plenty of time, and he's picked off. He uh, threw it up, and Eric Shorter took it down and takes it back for Boston College. I cannot believe he threw that pass. He looked at it the whole time. Short of the strong safety was right there, and he threw it almost to it. Collins that time tried to force the pass, and that's very unusual for him. This is totally uncharacteristic. Look, he's looking, he's looking. He sees number six, Shorter, and then throws it right to him. Shorter used the sidelines behind him. He came in front of him and made the pick. This is nicely done. Watch him use the sideline. Receiver behind him, in front, get it at his highest point. Interception, turnover, Michigan. Collins knows that was a horrendous pass. Let's see if Collins can get a drive going here. With one ten remaining in two timeouts. Bianca Batuka is in the game now, a tailback, along with Shea Foster. Flag down, it'll be offside against Boston College as Bianca Batuka takes it up near the 30-yard line. He picks up about seven yards. Tackled by Mamula. Suspended from the team. 43 seconds Michigan has to work with, which is plenty of time. Also have a timeout, but not that way. Bianca Batuka, he's got some speed and he's got some room. Steps out of bounds at the 44-yard line. Check that, making the 47-yard line after picking up 27 yards. We have 35 seconds to go on the clock. Well, we talked about him earlier in the game before he got in. They called him Touchdown Tim. Five touchdowns in 1993 as a freshman. He averages five yards a carry. Look at his quickness now. He'll bounce outside, knows he's got to get to the sideline to stop the clock. If he can't take it the distance, and shows pretty good composure here. Here's a guy. Unfortunately, he got the wrong time. Smith in motion for Michigan. Collins over the middle, wide open, Toomer. Toomer could score, touchdown Michigan.
Amani Toomer goes 46 yards for the score. Want to see how he did it? Watch this. Kamara's number five. He's playing in the zone. Toomer takes him inside, gets behind him, now gets past the two deep guys. Wiggins, the safety, and then here just power football and poor tackling by BC for the touchdown. 69% today. Three receivers in for Michigan. Collins under heavy pressure. Finds Toomer and he makes a great move. Toomer with a first down, down to the 42-yard line of Boston College. Man, can I get some fries with that shake? Did you see the move that Toomer put on the DB? Spun away from him. Yeah, but what a play by Collins again. Collins had the blitz coming, felt it on both sides of him, still stayed in and made the completion. Watch this. Collins knows he's getting pressure from both sides. Now he steps up and it's coming up the middle. He's hit before he releases it by Mamula, and still the ball's sitting there waiting. Look at Toomer. Little spin move there. Little duck and dive there. All right, Gary, Michigan with a two-point lead right now. Bianca Batuka is the lone back, and he gets the handoff, breaks two tackles down to the 32-yard line, but a late flag thrown on the play back in the 40. This is going to be holding again against Michigan, and the penalties have hurt the Wolverines the entire ball game. Second down and 21 for the Wolverines. Three receivers in, a handoff to Bianca Batuka. Boy, look at that move. The man from north of the border, from Longgate, Quebec, is down to the 38-yard line and got back a good chunk of the yardage. He picked up 16 that time before being brought down by Eric Shorter. You know, when we said earlier, we were talking about Wheatley, and we said, hey, it's kind of like Barry Sanders playing behind Thurman Thomas in college. Well, this is it. This is the one everybody's excited about. Davis does an awfully nice job, but it's the Akabatuka that has the talent that really excites the crowd. They call him Touchdown Tim. Five touchdowns in his freshman year. Every time he touches the ball, he's exciting. Good break. It averages five for carry. Collins being blitzed from the weak side and a completion to Toomer. Amani Toomer could score and he does. This is the Michigan we thought we'd see from the outset. Again, Collins gets pounded. Watch 56, Santa Bria come in and just level him. Boom, right there. He still gets the pass off. It's a strike right in the hook area. Then the DB falls down in the dive at the end. I give him a 7.5 on that, but the touchdown makes it 20 to 12, Michigan. That was the Hollywood effect, no doubt. DeLong shanked a punt that went just 11 yards, and Boston College has the ball in the 43-yard line. A little play action. Hartzell going up top, wide open. Incomplete for Cannon. Playing with a sore quad, quadricep muscle, and they didn't even think he would play today. They run it this time onto the 46-yard line. Three wide receivers in for BC. Big third down conversion attempt. Hartzell under pressure, brought down at the 49. Matt Dyson, Michigan's best pass rusher, made the tackle. Davis filling in for Tyrone Wheatley, who was watching this one from the sidelines. Suffered a separated shoulder, a secondary degree separation. Wheatley on the sidelines, there he is. 15 100-yard games. 40 touchdowns. Great athlete, too. Ran track here at Michigan. Oh, look at this. Nice waggle. Collins throws a bullet complete to Toomer. Toomer approaching a school record now for receiving yards in a game. You think these guys haven't found a rhythm? We're back in Ann Arbor, Michigan for the beginning of the fourth quarter. Michigan leading Boston College 21 to 12. I'm Mark Jones along with Tim Brandt and Gary Reasons. On a day when Boston College started off in a very auspicious manner, scoring on the first play, but since then, Michigan has taken control and they lead by nine points. And here's more from Mercury Hayes from Todd Collins. Hayes, the speedster out of Houston, Texas, picks up 22 yards for the Wolverines' first down. The ball is at the 37-yard line. Well, he is some kind of player. He led the team with five touchdown receptions last year at Houston, Texas. There's Bianca Patuka. Oh, man, Good look five. at him go. 
He could score. Pushed out of bounds at the two-yard line. Bianca Batuka. The fans do call him touchdown Tim because of his five touchdowns last year as a freshman. This guy averages big yardage every time he touches it, but watch this. He makes people miss. They break down, and he just kind of drifts right by him. Cajara that time had an open field. you got to go after him high and not give it away. He just grasped air, and the Akbatuka went past him. Up the middle this time, touchdown. The same man. you got to give it to him. Touchdown, Tim, the Akbatuka. Seven carries, 81 yards, and that touchdown. Plus, he has a 298-pound line in front of him. Watch the surge from the offensive line and watch Bianca Batuka just follow him in. Little trap, Bianca Batuka pushes in. Says hello to Boyd, pushes him into the end zone. Touchdown. And a long drought for this offense. Hartzell underthrows his intended receiver, number four, Kenyatta Watson. <laughs> this kid has as much, if not more, potential than Bowler. Mitchell in motion. They come back the other way. And another fumble. Green coughs it up. He puts it on the ground. No, it's out of but bounds. But it's out of bounds. He did fumble it, though. Interior line of Boston College. Third down and nine. Mitchell was in motion. But he's blocking now. Hartzell went for Grice, and he couldn't squeeze it. Good coverage that time by Tyrone Noble, the backup corner. They have to go now. Hartzell with time over the head of Grice again. So Michigan will take possession. Bianca Batuka is the deep back. Look at this guy. I love to watch him run. Great legs. You know, I think he's the next great record setter here at Michigan. He's already got one record, you know. He's got the longest name in NCAA history. 20 letters. Bianca Batuka. He makes people miss. Out to the 47-yard line, picked up about eight on that play. Boyd and Porter making the tackle. Second down and one for the Wolverines. Bianca Matuka. They can't stop him. No, not at all. First down out to the 40-yard line, a pickup of 12 that time. Here's the counter gap. Bianca Matuka. Down to the 28-yard line, a pickup of 13. Bianca Batuka now well over 100 yards. Remember, he had that big game against Purdue last year as a freshman, went well over 100 yards as well. Folks here in Michigan love him. Your banged-up shoulder will get well. Coach, I'm feeling better today. Yeah, I better get back out there. And here's Shea Foster, who's out there. Foster pushed out of bounds at the four. The big, burly, 245-pound junior takes it 25 yards with a burst of speed. Finally hauled down by Wiggins. That's Wheatley's roommate right there. Been his roommate for years. Nice cut back here by Shea Foster, Tim. Once he gets rolling, look at that 245 pounds. Gets up a pretty good head of steam. Now this is a good team, but not a great team. There's Davis outside. He'll score. They look pretty impressive right now. And the familiar chorus of Hail to the Victors is being played again. So it's 7.27 to play in the game. Michigan leading 34 to 12. Fast Eddie Davis brings us to where we are right now. Intercepted once again. Clarence Thompson with the pick. Turn out the lights. This one's been over for a while. 7.15 to go in the game. This is another turnover. They've got to now work on the psyche of Hartzell. They've got to keep Hartzell up mentally. He's down on himself a little bit. 
Christian Boyd, the freshman, and John Ritchie, the backup fullback in the backfield. Ball is loose and a fumble, and Boston College claims to have it, and they do. Game's getting sloppy now. Steve Young in charge for the Niners, complete down to the four-yard line, Pete Mitchell. And Boston College looking to tack a touchdown on the board here. With a little over three minutes to play in the game, Mitchell now eight receptions for a total of 75 yards in the afternoon. Hartzell into the end zone, touchdown! Gordon Laro. Smith earned a letter as a true freshman two years ago, but in his sophomore season, he wasn't quite as productive. Clock running now with 30 seconds to play in the game. Watson, nice move. Watson can score. And he does. Kenyatta Watson made three nice moves to a new tacklers and scores a touchdown and salvages just a little bit more pride for the Eagles. A 27-yard strike that time. I'll tell you something. Dan Henning has to be proud of these guys. The Eagles haven't stopped playing all day. They'll just take the knee and clock play here. Jason Carr will kneel down. This will be the last play of the game. It sure will. Well, Dan Henning made his college debut as a head coach here in Ann Arbor, Michigan. It didn't work out the way that he would have wanted, but for that man, Gary Moeller, it did. As the University of Michigan wins its fifth consecutive home opener. The maize in blue, hail to the victors. They win 34 to 26. For Gary Reasons and Tim Brandt, I'm Mark Jones saying goodbye from Ann Arbor.